Hey there friends, welcome back to another awesome Tinkercad Code Blocks lesson. This is an extension on the flower that we built earlier. I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a stem and a flower pot. So let's get cracking. First things first, you can see I subtracted something from my flower. And that was simply by adding in this cool code where I did it a second time. But I made it a hole. And then when it grouped it, it cut out that hole and made it look pretty sweet. But that's up to you to explore and figure out. What I've promised you is that I'd show you how to make a stem. Start by hitting modify, find create new object, drop that object down, and choose rename and name it stem. With your piece called stem, you need to think about what shape is going to make it. Well, the best one that we have is probably the cylinder. Of course, you'll want your cylinder to be green, and then you need to change its dimensions. Stems are usually kind of thin, so type a number like three. You can keep the height of 20, and when we press play, we get to watch our cool code come to life. Those ellipses were created with a cylinder that we then squished using the scale command up here. So you can see that does look like a stem, but we need to move it. You move it by simply grabbing your modify and putting your move down below. Each of these boxes is worth 10 millimeters, so I'm going to try the number 10. And when I hit play, this time I'm going to speed it up by hitting that little arrow so that it draws immediately. And you can see that lines up pretty cool with my flower. Unfortunately, it's below zero. Remember, when it builds, it takes the height where this was 20, and it puts half of it below zero. I'm going to change this to 25. I'm going to take that half of 25, which is 12.5. And when I type it in and hit play, now my stem lines up at that new height, which you can decide if it's perfect or if it's too high, and then just adjust your numbers accordingly. Since we added the new object stem, let's quickly make another new object called a flower pot. When I hit rename variable, I'm going to name it FP because that's a lot easier to type than all a flower pot. And then if you look at your shapes, a good flower pot shape would be the cone. When you bring the cone out, once again we hit its choices and we want the top radius to be wide, so I'm going to try 12. And we want the bottom radius to be small, so I'm going to try three. I'm going to switch it to the color brown, and I am going to hit play to see what my new project looks like. You can see I have got some sort of flower pot. I would say that its height is too high, so I'm going to take it 10. And then also, I'm going to go right to the modify command, and I'm going to start moving it to where it's supposed to be. I'm going to guess that it has to be 10 over, just like I did the last one. And then I would guess my Z, or I know my Z, is half of 10, which is 5. Let's hit play and watch and see if it turns out the way we want. Bam! You've got an interesting flower with a stem and a flower pot. Very little additional effort. You can change all your heights and adjust this to make it look more awesome. You can figure out how to add a cool leaf. All kinds of awesome things are available to you. Friends, if you found this useful, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.